I'm not condoning the behavior. I'm not saying there should be no punishment. There should be. There should be consequences. You are the face of the league. You are representing the NBA. You are a role model to young kids. All of that, I don't think half a season is the right answer. J.J. Redick is making most of his time on ESPN's first take, this time identifying those most responsible for the gun violence epidemic in the country, while also discussing John Morant's possible punishment. The, the, the guns on social media, we talk about consequences. Look, in our country right now, gun culture is pervasive. It's pervasive. We've got mass shooting after mass shooting, and nobody's doing a damn thing about it. So I get why we're so sensitive to this right now. But there's no consequence for Greg Abbott telling his constituents that they should go buy more guns. And then we have mass shooting after mass shooting in Texas. And so one thing that we can observe uh, very easily, uh, and that is there has been a dramatic increase in the amount of anger and violence uh, that's taking place in America. And what Texas is doing uh, in a big time way, uh, we are working to address uh, that anger and violence by going to its root cause, uh, which is addressing uh, the mental health problems behind it. There's no consequence for an elected Tennessee official to send out a Christmas card holding AR-15s with his young family, and then there's a shooting in his very district. I have been lobbying in D.C. since we survived a mass shooting in July. I have met with over 130 lawmakers. How is this still happening? How are our children still dying, and why are we failing them? Gun violence is the number one killer of children and teens. It has overtaken cars. Assault weapons are contributing to the border crisis and fentanyl. We are arming cartels with our guns and our goose loose gun laws. And these shootings and these mass shootings will continue to happen until our lawmakers step up and pass gun safety legislation. There's no consequences to that. So why are we why are we trying to lay down the hammer on a 23 year old who didn't break a law? Explain that to me. And once again, J.J. Reddick's comments on ESPN have caused quite a stir. But the one thing that's absolutely indisputable is that we've brought forward our problem with our gun culture in this country yet again. This time in the form of John Morant, especially since this is the second time he's been busted doing this type of stuff and will probably be suspended yet again. But this time what we're understanding is that the response to it is much more direct, angry, and disappointed but when we have other folks on different parts of our society that do the same thing, if not worse, we kind of accept it. And JJ is pointing out our mass hypocrisy. Here's JJ Reddick's initial response when that second video of John Morant toting that gun came out. Don't condone Ja's behavior. And I'm not, Ja Morant is not an idiot, but it's idiotic behavior. It, it, it is. Um, I think also how sensitive everyone is right now to guns in general. Absolutely. I think that sort of factors into the outrage of this. The perception of what he is doing, given the incident last summer at his house with the 17-year-old, uh, given what happened with the Indiana Pacers traveling party earlier this season, and then following up with the, the like there should be a suspension. I do think a 25-game suspension for this is too severe. I'm not a fan of the behavior. I don't condone it. But I would generally start at probably doubling up what the suspension has already been, which was eight games. Now, let's keep it real. Of course, John Morant should be suspended, should be punished in some kind of way, especially since this is the second instance of this same indiscretion that he's pulled off in, what, a couple of months? Now, if we compare it to our political uh, stances and our political leaders, why isn't their workplace something where we want to show off safety or maybe not anger and aggression, toting guns, talking about your opponents? Except this is on a final level. This isn't a game where the score determines who wins. But in many cases, these are people who follow politicians and then think, yo, that's the score I want to settle. These scores are settled for good. We've got politicians talking about civil war, if not a race war, which some of them have also pointed out as well. So sure, John Morat should get suspended, but how many game suspension is Governor Greg Abbott going to get?